Good morning. Um, happy Wednesday. Hopefully everybody's getting a chance to watch the Olympics. One of my favorite things to watch. Um, amazing athletes accomplishing amazing things. So today I wanted to touch on nutrition plans. If you ever research any of these Olympians, a lot of times you'll find that they have specific nutrition plans or any professional athlete for that matter. They have specific nutrition plans. They have people who design their food for them based on getting the max performance out of their physical body, which is amazing if you think about it. I mean, wouldn't you love to have that yourself? I would. I would love to have somebody who does all the meal planning, prepping, cooking, all of that. That would be fantastic. Um, but when you talk about nutrition plans and whether or not they're needed, a lot of times people will say, well, I'm, I'm eating pretty healthy, you know. I, I'm I'm doing a pretty good job. It's not a big deal, you know. I I you know I'm 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 changing. I, I'm not drinking pop as much anymore. I only have one. I'm only having one pop a day, or I'm only doing you know things like that, and and that's a good start. A lot of times people are really afraid to fully commit to a nutrition plan. Uh, a lot of these things I'm covering in my upcoming book, The Female Fat Solution. The program is available, so you can check that out on my website. Um, but and I do have some more really exciting things coming up, so stay tuned. Um, but a lot of times when we talk about nutrition plans, especially for women, women often follow a plan that was not designed for the female body. So keep that in mind. And on my website, the program that I have laid out there is specifically designed for the female body and it goes through everything that women need in terms of how hormones shift and change in the body. So, um, so that's a really important thing to note for women when you're looking at some type of program or plan and you're like, oh, I don't know if this will work. I've done these things before. I, I'm, I'm concerned that this wouldn't be the right thing for me. If you're, unless you're following a plan for women, it's probably not the right thing for you. Um, but it is important that you do follow some sort of plan or guideline. Why? So you have some parameters to stay within. There's just so many different variables out there. There's so many different things you can try and do and oftentimes people who don't have a specific guideline or, or program that they're following, they tend to like ping pong to different things. Oh, I'm going to try this. Oh, I'm going to try low carb. I'm going to try high protein. I'm da, 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 da. All, these, all these things. And then it gets lost in the mix. And then if you have some type of success, you're like, well, what was it then? Or if you're not having success or results, which is more often the case, then you really don't know why. And that's where following a plan or a program can really, really help. Oftentimes when I do uh, consults with women, and I do them all the time, so if you're wondering about some specific program and you're like, I, I, I don't know, I've done this, that, and the other, would this really work for me? Let me know if you would like to chat with me about it. I Literally, I do this all the time. I just you know, jump on the phone with somebody, we talk about whatever they have going on, what they're struggling with, the programs that they've done in the past, because that tells me a lot about what their body's been through. And then we can come up with a great solution in terms of next steps moving forward. And whatever the next steps are, it's something that you're going to be comfortable with and you're going to be excited about doing. So, so there's that. Um, so if you want to connect with me in some way, message me or comment below and we'll get in touch and, and pick a time that we can connect. Um, but in terms of following a plan or a program, the, the reason they're so important is that people do get better results when they're following some type of guideline. And I'm not a big, you know... I don't recommend really strict programs. I don't recommend super strict and restrictive like, oh, you have to do it exactly like this. Because that sucks. And who wants to do that? I don't want to do that. I mean, I've tried that stuff before myself. And yeah, for a small period of time, you can do it. But in terms of living a life, you know, it makes it really tough to enjoy yourself. Or it makes it really tough to continue to be around friends and family if you're like, I'm sorry, I can't eat any of those things. Me, you know, versus being like, okay, I'm going to eat really healthy. And then I'll have like one little tiny treat after I've eaten tons of healthy proteins and gotten all my veggies in and that type of thing. Another thing in terms of a program, people sometimes get worried about, oh my God, I'm going to have to eat like all vegetables. Gross. I don't want to eat just all vegetables. Again, if you're following a program that's like just vegetables, unless you're a vegan or something, it makes it really tough to sustain that. So find a plan, find a program that works for you. And that's what I work with women, helping them do, helping them kind of sift through all these things out there and then find something that fits for them. So yeah, I, um, I've been on so many programs myself, and especially as an athlete. So for those of you that know athletes, you know, school's starting up, preseason and fall sports are coming around the bend here. There can be so many different programs, and I'll, I, I speak to a lot of female athlete groups um, because that's it's sort of a you know a passion of mine because I was a female athlete, um, 
and so many athletes are given horrible recommendations in terms of what to eat or what not to eat. I myself was put on very strict diets, you know, told I was fat. And overall, my body, I mean, I've been like 6'2 since, I've been about six between 6' six and 6'2 six since I was 12. And my overall weight has not really changed. But as a, you know, 16-year-old, 6'2 gal that weighed 175 or 180 pounds, it was unacceptable to some, you know, coaches that I had, or even then even going into college, it got really, really tough as a female athlete to kind of combat that. And, and I was put on different programs. Some of them are really good. I had the opportunity and the blessing to work with some coaches that were phenomenal in terms of being forward thinking about nutrition. Um, and I recently connected with an old friend who we played together and we had him as a coach and he was amazing. Um, so that's kind of fun. But then I also played for other coaches that again, told me that I was fat, told me I needed to lose weight. And I was like, I'm not, I'm not fat. Well, but you really need to lean out more. And I was like, I, you know, really, it's not like my weight, these two pounds are not interfering with my performance on the court. It's, you know, so in approaching that, there's, there's ways to approach nutrition for females, especially athletes, and give them a plan that's going to help them and gear them towards performance, but not going to tear them apart and not tear apart their self-esteem in terms of, you know, their body image. Girls get that enough. They get that enough from the media and everything else. So that is not something that's needed. Um, what I do speak to a lot of female athlete groups, I always touch on body image and what they're seeing, what they're reading, because it's not accurate. Uh, you, they read these things like in, in Cosmo magazine or, you know, these other magazines and they'll be like, oh, so-and-so, this actress, her healthy lunch, you know, meal, blah, 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 what she eats for lunch to stay slim and trim. Great. Good for her. You know, good. Is she putting in six hours on the court every day or running, you know, that so many miles? You know, no, no, no. She's not expected to perform like that. So it's very, very different parameters in terms of looking at what the body is designed to do, what you're pushing for, what your goals are, and what your nutrition plan is. So hopefully this kind of makes sense. I feel like I'm kind of all over the place with talking about nutrition plans. But overall, when you talk about like my nutrition plan for me right now is very different than it was, you know, or what I, what I designed for athletes. Why? Because athletes push themselves to a different level every day. And I, right now, I do different interval workouts and things like that, but you know, I'm not... On, I'm not working out for eight hours a day or four hours a day or anything like that. So, so it's very different. So having the right nutrition plan makes a huge difference. So if you have questions or if you know somebody with questions, if you've got, you know, kids, friends, neighbors, whatever that are starting fall sports and you're concerned about whether or not they're getting enough protein, they're getting enough nutrient, it does make a big, big difference overall. Um, let me know or comment below. I have great um, charts that talk about easy ways to get healthy food in before practice, after practice, before games, after games, all these things. I have them all laid out so I can send them to you. Um, so just, just let me know if you'd like them and yeah, I'll get it out to you. But hopefully this has been great talking about nutrition plans and everything. I get kind of fired up and sometimes go on tangents, but very important information and everybody should follow some type of plan, but it should be the plan that's right for you. So if you have questions, please let me know. Otherwise, everybody have a great day.